guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Tonight, I am going to share with you what I feel like the, is literally the best radio that I've ever reviewed here on this channel. About six months ago, these people reached out to me and said, hey, we've got this radio we're working on. We want you to check it out for us. And I looked at the specs and I thought, oh, yeah, definitely. It took them six months to get it FCC type approved here in the U.S. And... Uh, I kept checking back. I was so interested in it. I like every every couple of weeks, I'd be like, "Hey, how's that coming?" And it's finally done. It's the Chaoyang LC90, and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to go through its features and functions like I do with all my radio reviews. But the reason that this radio is literally the best radio that I've played with is that it's more than just a radio. What is the biggest complaint you have? when we talk about shortwave radio channel uh, radios on this channel. And the answer is, there's just nothing on, right? Everyone complains there's just not enough broadcasters on there. Well, the LC90 takes care of that in a way that I think integrates the old technology with new technology. There are more channels available here than you will be ever be able to listen to. It's the LC90. So let me go ahead and unbox this thing. I'm, I'm not... Like I would have, I know this is a review, like they're sending me this, but I, I already played with this thing because I've been waiting six months for it. And um, it's that, it's all that. Here's the radio. It does come with a manual. It does come with a recharger. It's a USB-C recharger. And it does come with a, um, a little hand wrist. So if you're gonna bring it to the beach or whatnot. Uh, the manual itself, not a lot. I haven't even looked at it. Didn't need to. A lot of controls on here. I haven't figured out everything on here. But uh, nicely written out in English. It is seven pages on the front. Yep, seven pages all together. Well, 13 if you go to the back side. You can download it, an app here to get more information on it as well. Model LC90, it weighs 640 grams. It has FM from 64 to 108, long wave from 153 to 279, mid wave, that's the terrestrial AM band, commercial AM band, 522 to 710, short wave coverage, 2300 to 26100. Does have Bluetooth, a TF card, an earphone jack, and an external antenna jack. It does also have the ability to have software updates done to it. Why is this? Let me get the camera closer in here, but let me just show you before I do that, the, the beauty of the radio. It's a, it's a good size, about a little bigger than a palm here. Nice speaker, color display here, power on and off. Uh, nice full-fledged keypad here. Of course, our channel, uh, our band select up here. FM, mid-wave, short-wave, Bluetooth, TF card. Along the top, there's uh, some features here that we'll get into. On the side, we have uh, uh, frequency adjust. We have our volume, and we have some other menu adjustments here that can be made. USB-C charging point here, external antenna point here, and earphone here. On the back, nice extendable antenna. And it's a good size antenna. I won't go all the way up with it. Um, over on this little corner here, you can see that's where you would attach your wrist strap if you want to do so. It does have on the bottom a place for not one, but two SD cards. And it has a little rubber pads on the bottom to hold it in place. And they're calling it a multiband smart radio. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty smart. Let me get the camera closer in. We'll turn this thing on and I will show you what I'm talking about. Well, here we are up close and personal with this thing, and you can see layout wise, there's some extra buttons, a heart button, a return button, looks like a menu button, settings button, clock, lock, podcasts, news, hmm, World Wide Web, language, tag, menu, this is interesting. So while most of my videos revolve around radio being terrestrial radio, I'm going to turn this one on and I'm going to show you why it is that this one is different. The Chaoyang is the brand, the LC90, and they have been working on this for a while. 
Okay, so the reason that this is different is that not just FM mode, northwest of Bulgaria, a region notorious for its poverty and neglect to meet the people smugglers. And you can see here we have signal noise reduction, signal strength, time, band, megahertz listed, memo, frequency, and I can, I can save this. By doing that, I just press that button, and now I put that in my favorites. Slavi and his friend Svetlo suggested this as a place we could talk in private. And it plays beautifully on the FM. Midwave, we don't get great reception here, but we can give it a shot. We'll go up to 1200, that's the strongest station in my area. The other station that we might be able to pick up would be 1290. And 1450. And they're not coming in here uh, this time of day, but that's not that unusual. Moving over to the shortwave band, all right, let's switch on over to shortwave. I'm not going to spend a ton of time. I'm not going to do my usual band scan with this. I'm just going to show you some of these features. Uh, uh, these buttons here and here, if we press down on this, we're going to be changing the bandwidth, right? I can change it to from a narrow bandwidth to a high or anywhere in between there. So that's kind of nice for picking up signals. And then if I press this button here, we're going to be able to rotate through our bands here, 13, 15. You can see as we go through that. So really nice to be able to jump around. Of course there still is direct entry if you want to use that. But uh, I think that's pretty nice that that does that as well. And we can roll up here. So this is our fine tuning. This is our more coarse tuning. Here's 7200 for those of you who, who like ham stuff. But it's really early in the morning, as you can see. Really early. A lucky coincidence? Well, the problem with the evolutionary explanation is that this moth is dated by evolution. For ourselves and for future generations, a new world order. Good evening, folks. You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. Wow. There's a throwback. Against the wall. John has a long long mustache. John has a long mustache. It's 12 o'clock, Americans, another day closer to victory. And for all of you out there on or behind the lines, this is your song. <laughs> Incredible. Let's see what else we can find on shortwave tonight. And picking up some interference with the overhead LEDs. I just wanted to have good lighting on the radio. The children of Israel, they began to murmur. Unbelief, discontented, disobeyed, made an idol. Every rotten thing that resides in a person's being was flushed out and brought to light in the wilderness. Now, I used to teach out of the top. So it's a pretty sensitive receiver on shortwave. That was up almost one and three quarters of a percent. So they're just screaming right along. You're I should say the Asian market. Right on. Well, I think you get the point there. I did go ahead and edit in some of the scanning. I wasn't originally going to spend a whole lot of time on shortwave with this radio because of what I want to show you next. And what I want to show you next is why I feel like this is the coolest and best radio I have ever reviewed here on my channel. Let's go ahead and press the magic button that brings us to menu. And looky, looky what we have here. We can choose from any part of the North American corridor and as you can see this list goes on and on and on I think it's pretty awesome 
Okay, so we're just going to go with regular old-fashioned USA. USA, there we go, America. We'll hit OK, and you are going to be blown away. So we have popular stations. We have statewide stations. Well, let's go to Florida. What we have, what you are seeing here, is a very comprehensive pile of radio stations that broadcast both over the Internet and over the air. And we are able to get in there and listen to all of these static-free with perfect reception. And, I mean, it just goes, my friends. It just goes. Do WAP radio. Now, I have to be very cool, careful. Look, there's shortwave, WRMI 9955. Let's go ahead and press OK. Of course, I have to be careful with music, so some of this might jump around if it's music when I'm loading this up. But you'll see, and I'm pretty far out. You can see my little bandwidth there. I'm, I'm, I'm hundreds of yards away from the uh, router. So I'm going to turn that down because we can't have uh, music here on YouTube. That would be, you know, against the world there. But as you can see, I just picked up a shortwave station, and I'm not even on shortwave. It gets way better. I'm going to go through here until I find some... Uh, some some talk radio here. I know there's plenty of it uh, here. Florida State University. We could try that one. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say this morning. Hopefully it's not music, but a lot of these are, of course, going to be music. That not being a problem, just a problem for YouTube. But you can listen to thousands, and I mean tens of thousands of stations on this thing from all over the country, and of course from all over the world. So unfortunately, another. But we'll find something here in a second. I mean, just look at these. These are all stations that are broadcasting over the air with their call signs. And, of course, then there's also tons of, uh, tons of AM stations, some stuff that's just Internet-based only. Let's try that one. The Source. The Source is WMNF's All News and Public Interest Channel. It's a public service to the community that's possible because of donations to WMNF. Please hit the tip jar at WMNF.org or on the WMNF app. And this Incredible. Now let's say you want to go straight to the news. Well, guess what? It's got a button that just goes straight to the news. We press that button. And we have BBC World Service. You're saying that a lot of the uh, shortwave news stations are no longer on the air? Well, they are. They are with this radio. If you can't pick them up with your shortwave and your long wire antenna, well, you can pick them up via the internet. We are particularly looking quite very closely between Rio and Brasilia. Incredible. And there's so many. Iran International. You want the other point of view? I do. German stations. Europe. Voice of America, Global English. Let's go ahead and listen to what they have to say. Our own, very own propaganda. We don't need other people's propaganda. We got our own. Yep, not broadcasting at this time of the day. BBC World Service, CNN International. Let's see what that propaganda sounds like. About escalation in the region. For now, all Central Command and the Pentagon are saying in response to that is that they are going to continue to defend. Incredible. I mean, this list goes on and on and on, as you can see. I'm going to go through here. Oh, look at that. The most banned station on Earth. And it comes in crystal clear, I'm sure. Q. And, you know, Trump and others just saw it as a movement in, in the Patriot movement, so they tried to be nice to it. You know, it's later they kind of came out and spoke out. AP Radio News. Are you getting the picture? Are you getting the picture why out of all the radios I've ever reviewed, this one is easily going to be the one that I carry with me everywhere. ...in the second half to bounce back from losses to TCU and Kansas. JV and McCollum and Revolve... This is absolutely incredible, and it just keeps going. Um, you, I wish I could play more of the more interesting music that's out there, but I popped in uh, some Bahamas music, and it's just awesome, you know? And so we have all that stuff that's just available. I mean, it just keeps going. 
I think Bloomberg Radio, ABC News Radio, here's uh, New York Public Radio. A lot of uh, Russian radio here. Let's go ahead and listen to some Russian radio. Right. So let's try. Let's see what else we got here. Let's try that. I'm not even sure where this would be, but let's find out what labels are in here. We have Australia, Tonga, Guam, Norfolk Island, the Cook Islands. Let's go to Australia and see what's going on over there. I mean, this is incredible. This is incredible. So here we have a ABC News Radio, but it's the Australian version. And of course, if you like what you're listening to, you have the favorites button. I'll show you once this loads up. Have claimed before Darwish brothers. The family showed right, well, us. Let's say I like it, so I just press that men. button, and no now I've Israel given it the little heart button, and I can go back to my favorites. Them. We asked the Israeli army why the men were targeted. They said an aircraft had struck a terrorist squad that hurled explosives at Israeli forces and sent. Here's Melbourne. Tell me when I'm starting to bore you here in the comments section, but I can't get enough of this. Usually I unbox radios and go through them with you in person. You know, we open them up together. This one, the second I got it out of the mailbox in the car, I opened it up. It is so awesome. You're a unique sound, yes. Didn't they? And it's just a shame. They uh, had quite a falling out, the brothers. And, yes, uh, I did hear about that, yeah. They didn't speak for a while, but, but they both did... Uh, do you get the idea? Now let me go through some of the other features. Of course we have a lock. We do have a timer function. I press that button right there. I'll have to go back and we can we can set it up 30 minutes, whatever. We can use it as an alarm clock. I think that's pretty cool. Right? We can go into settings here. Wi-Fi. We can change how long the back... Oops. I just turned it off. There we go. And we can turn uh, go through backlighting, autoplay, we can change the steps for European and U.S. markets. And we can do a hard reset if for some reason things went crazy. Another thing I like while I was playing around, we can go back with this button here into different radio stations. So, right, we were listening to Melbourne, and we can change. We hit that back button again. It's going to go back to the last station we were in. And so that's kind of a neat thing. Right, we have the ability to tag stuff if we want to. We can show, oh, is this a news station? Is this a music station? Is this a rock? You can go through here and see all we're, what we're talking about, public radio. So if we find a radio station we like and we want to put it in a category, we can totally do that. This button over here, so we have news. Then we also have podcast. Press that. It takes you to more podcasts. Now, some of this is also news, but it does open up some other stuff. So a lot of this is foreign, but it's still very interesting. Um, Voice of America. AP Radio News, NPR streams, and I mean, it just keeps going. And I mean, when I say it just keeps going, hundreds of stations on each sub-channel, sub you know? So you're talking tens of thousands of stations here. And it just works. It just works. And I think that's so cool. And I'll roll it back up to about 60. Then we want to go to music, press that. And now we're into music. And I can't, unfortunately, click on any of these because if I do that, we risk copyright. Let's try comedy radio. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Is that Russian comedy radio? Where are you going to hear that, my friends? Where are you going to hear that? All right, now this thing also has, if we press this button right here. Now, I'm not going to go into that with you today, but I'll probably be making a whole series of videos on this. And I'll be getting more in-depth into some of these other ones. But, I mean, we have so many cool things. Of course, press this. We get into Bluetooth. Press the TF card, and we can listen and, uh, off of, uh, you know, recorded stuff that we have. And then, again, back to shortwave, midwave, FM. Direct keypad entry. I mean, it's pretty darn cool, isn't it? We'll go ahead and cancel out of that.
go back into our menu. What else we got here? We got all kinds of stuff here. We'll go into, well, let's go check out Europe, see what they've got going on. We got many channels here. Oh, we got UK, Ukraine. If you want to listen to live news from Ukraine with the things that are going on there, Finland, Greece, Greenland, Hungary, Iceland. I don't know if I'd call Iceland Europe, but I guess it is. I mean, just, I'm going to scroll through it. Okay, let's cancel out of that. Let's see what else. How about, how about Asia? Let's see if we can listen to our, uh, our good friends, the North Koreans. Are they in here? Yep, there they are. So how about getting that side of the story, huh? The voice of Korea. Oh, I could literally do this all day with you, but I will not. But I just wanted to share this with you. Incredible. Uh, incredible. Just so awesome. The Chaoyang LC90. I bet you this goes on and blows up and is a very popular radio I could definitely tell you that I feel like it should be. As you can see, it's uh, just an oh, it, it even has a SIM card, so you can do this if you don't have Wi-Fi. You could do this through a SIM card as well. Wow, that I was not aware of. Well, I have a lot of playing to do with this beautiful little radio, and I intend to do just that. But I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to get this out. I wanted to show you that it exists. I uh, will leave a link to where you can pick up your own. They are not really ready. They're not really here. They're still working on these. They do have FCC approval now, but they are still working out some of the minor kinks, and I will keep you informed as to software updates as they come out for this. But I want to thank them for sending this my way. It's six months of uh, back and forth talking with them, telling them I was so excited to play with it. It is everything I wanted and a whole lot more. Till next time, my friends, take care.